We know that you've talked to some teachers too. The jitters are high, but you know what? Everybody seems really happy. Oh yeah, I, I think that's uh, easy to say here. It's starting to get a little busier. We're still about an hour away from that first period bell ringing, but I just saw a mom and a daughter come by and um, she let her mom take a picture of her in front of the school on the first day. You need that first day of school picture. But I was like, that's good. Cause I, you know, sometimes teens, they don't want their picture taken by mom and dad, right? Well, fully compliant today. So that's always a good sign on the first day of school. I mean, you mentioned it though, got more than 300 new teachers starting this year. Chandler Unified tells me that's pretty much par for the course for them. And I was with the district two weeks ago meeting a number of these new teachers. It was a lot of fun just to talk to them. I love teachers. So it was such a fun assignment just to talk to them. I met one in particular. This is very special because for her, this is really a homecoming of sorts. Going into this first year, how do you feel? I'm so excited. Excited and nervous, but I think that comes with any job. But this isn't just any job, especially for first year teacher Tanner Phillips, who's about to launch her education career as a sign language teacher at Basha High School in the Chandler Unified School District. What are you looking forward to the most in your first year? I think really meeting and making those connections with students. I think that's why any teacher goes into this profession is because they really want to make a difference in students' lives. And Tanner may have more in common with her students than you realize. Not only is she a Chandler Unified teacher, she's also a Chandler Unified alum, graduating from Perry High School in 2019. You were a student here at Chandler Unified, yeah. K through 12. Now you've returned to teach here all these years later. Talk about a, a full circle moment. <laughs> yeah, I love living in Chandler. I've, I think when I think of home, I think of Chandler. Um, I'm just so familiar with, you know, everything around here. This is where my family grew up. I've only ever lived in Chandler. If I could end up back, back here in Chandler, that would be the dream. Tanner is proving that not only do dreams come true, but also you can go home again. But that doesn't mean there aren't some first day jitters. What do you think you're the most nervous about? Oh my gosh, so many things. I, I think it goes from like making sure everything's set up and organized so that students have, you know, routines and procedures in place. I think that's what makes students thrive in a classroom. And that's my job to make sure that those routines and procedures are in place. So my brain's been running all summer of what am I gonna do for this? How am I gonna turn in late work? Teaching is not an easy job. I think it gets harder <laughs> and harder. I think that you guys are saints yeah. for, for what you, for what you do, for what you, you know, all the obstacles that you have to overcome. So why did you still want to become a teacher despite everything that you're up against? Because I truly believe this is the most rewarding job in the entire world. And the amount of people that you're able to touch um, and meet and interact with, you really can't do that in any other job aspect. And if I can get one student in my entire career to like go on and be like, I think I want to be an interpreter, or I think I want to teach sign language, or I want to go to a deaf school for college, I think that makes my entire career worth it. Excited for you coming up at our